Hey everybody, welcome back to Bio in the Bathtub. Uh, we're just going to go over a really quick video on sex links, linked traits uh, and how we can visualize those in a Punnett square. So basically what a sex trait link is, is it has to do with the chromosomes, the 23rd pair. So these are not autosomal, these are your actual sexual chromosomes. So this is the decider if you uh, have two X's or two Y's. Uh, I know there are other versions of it, but for this case we're only going to stay to the XX and the XY pairings. So what this is going to be an example is we're going to look at somebody with hemophilia. Okay, uh, So there are a bunch of different phenotypes that we can look at here. Is We can get an XH female with an XH. We can get an X and an X with a little H. We can get an XY and XHY. Okay. So we'll get more into these here in a second, but the one big unique difference about a sex-linked trait is it's usually attached to one of the X chromosomes. Now in females, because they have two, uh, in order for you, these sex-linked traits to appear, both X's would need to be recessive carrying, which means they're carrying the trait. In males, uh, because males only have one X, if that X chromosome has the recessive trait, it tends to appear. Now a very common one is colorblindness. Uh, which we could use an example of as well, but we're going to carry on with hemophilia for, for today. So, uh, what we're going to say is we're going to have a mother here who carries the trait, but a partner, a male, who does not carry the trait. Okay? And we're going to see what this means to the probability of them having offspring that may or may not carry hemophilia as a side trait. So, all we do is we're going to act just like a regular Punnett square, but because we have this little sub superscript here, that's going to represent that recessive trait on our X chromosome. So I'm going to, I'm going to plug it in as normal. So here we would get XX, so XY, and here we're going to get X, X with our, sub, our superscript, and here we're going to get a Okay. So here are the four possible combinations. We have 25% chance that each of these combinations can appear, but what does that mean? So, for example, if we end up with an individual, which in this case we didn't, oh, I forgot one uh, genotype, sorry. Okay. So our phenotype is if we end up with an XX individual, we have what we have called a normal, a normal female. Okay. So they don't carry the trait at all, uh, there's nothing unique about it, so there's no possibility of them having it. The next example that we're going to have is, oh, I'm just going to switch these up actually, is X, X with a superscripted H, which means we have normal female, but they are a carrier. Okay. So they're a carrier, which means they have the trait. It's not noticeable because it's recessive, but they have the trait that could, if they cross with somebody else who has potential X, uh, could possibly pass it over to a female. But in this case, uh, we only have, we don't have to worry about that because they are only a carrier, they are still normal. The example we did not get in this case is where we have X with two H's. So this would be, A hemophiliac female, okay? because they have both of the traits on both of the axes, sorry, the, both of the chromosomes. Our next example is an XY, so this would be a normal male, because they don't have the trait. And the last example down here is where we would have a hemophiliac male, because they have the trait, and because there's only one X chromosome, the trait would then be distinguished onto it. So here's a quick example on how a sex-linked trait can be appeared on a Punnett square. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. If not, hope you learned something. Have a great day. Take care.